It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, appreciate you being here. Um, we're starting the contest today, so stick around to the end of the uh, video to get uh, today's question, trivia question from this channel. Um, today's video is uh, on the one thing Ron Howard had to do as Opie besides being natural. Let's take a look. Ron Howard has, seen, has been in several hit TV shows, movies, uh, since the Andy Griffith Show. His career is expansive and could have filled books. He had a few small parts before the show, but nothing like the character of Opie. Thankfully, uh, Howard fit the part perfectly, and he didn't have to do much to fit the part. But he did have to put on an accent to meld with the Andy Griffith show as well as he did. In an interview in 2010, Howard talked about adapting to the role of Opie. Uh, for me, playing the part, Howard explained, it was act outside the fact that there was a literal southern accent that I did. It was really a matter of just being as honest and realistic as I could. And even though Howard mentioned the accents almost as in a side, uh, it was instrumental in the character being excellent. Because Andy had such a thick accent, it would not have made sense for Opie to sound like an Oklahoma boy. In the interview, he also talked about how incredible his relationship with Andy was. Griffith made as part of the Andy Griffith show feel effortless for the young actor. Uh, he showed a six-year-old Ron Howard how to handle himself in Hollywood. And I did learn a lot about comedy timing, and Andy was my primary teacher, he said. If I was stepping on a joke or I needed to wait or something like that, I'd be schooled. And generally, Andy was the one who would do that. However, he then went back to explaining how effortless playing Opie in the Andy Griffith show felt. He again explained that because of the relationship with Andy, it felt all everyday life. But for the most part, it was natural. The Andy-Opie relationship wasn't exactly like my dad's and mine, of course. Uh, I could differ differentiate between the two, but it felt pretty similar. So it wasn't, to me, a kind of fantasy world at all. It was just simple, straightforward truthfulness. After all, Ron Howard was only 14 when the show concluded, but he was much the wiser when his younger self and the life lessons had abounded thanks to Andy Griffith. And that's all I've got for you. Um, today's, uh, let me sit this over here. Today's uh, trivia question is from Classic Sitcoms Facts and Trivia. So the answer can be found over there, but you have to put your answer in the comments below in, under this video. Uh, the question is, what was Gomez almost named? Because he was going to be named a different name, but he ended up Gomez. But what was that name going to be? Uh, and it's got to be the name I'm given on uh, Classic Sitcoms Facts and Trivia. So you'll have to go over and watch that if you haven't already. Like I say, the answer has got to go below. And uh, we'll be drawing out, I'll we'll put all the correct answers for the day in a hat. Draw out one. And that will be the daily winner. And after the contest uh, has run its course, we'll take all the names of every day, throw them in a hat, and pull out three free winners. Um, now it's up to you whether you guys want to know who wins daily or not. Uh, you can win multiple days if you get drawn out, but, uh, I'm going to let majority rule. And if we have more people that want to know who won daily, then I'll let you know who won daily before putting it in the, in the hat, so to speak. Uh, so that's totally up to you guys. Put that in the comments below too. And share these out for me if you would, and let's get as many people involved as we can in on in on this. Um, and if this goes over well, there will be more contests in the future. So uh, I hope you have fun with it. Uh, that's all I got for you. Have a great day. God bless. Don't forget to like this video. Give us a thumb. Uh, I'll be praying for you. Mm -hmm.